like her look at that view all day. Sorry to cut you off. I got a call from the hotel. Uh, there was an issue with the air filter in the bathroom, but they actually just called me and said they replaced it. So, and they offered to give me a different room, so that was nice of them. I could stay here all day. <laughs> Look at this view. Look at the palm trees swaying in the breeze. Sound of the water cascading down the volcano. I do have a little bit of an obstructed view. I could have gotten closer, but the main reason is that I really like to be close to the trees and the, uh, the foliage over here. I kind of like to be towards the back. I feel it, it's like a little more private. So I always try to look, when I have a choice for loungers, I always try to look for one that obviously has an umbrella, like this one does. And also I really like to be uh, near trees as well, because you get that really nice breeze and the sound of the breeze going through the, the palms. It's such a nice little detail. This is beautiful. This trip is the first time I've really started to appreciate Volcano Bay. The first time I came here, I think it opened in 2017 in the summertime. The first time I came here was in January, which probably wasn't the absolute best time of year. I came for the Harry Potter celebration, which I'm so sad to hear that they're, I don't think they're doing that anymore. So I actually got to do it the very last year it was offered which I'm so happy about. I'm really sad that I have a lanyard um, and the little attachment part broke and it's looking a little frayed, but I'll probably just hold on to it for memories. But I got the whole package when I stayed for that. I was in Miami at the time. So I came up here, uh, stayed Cabana Bay for the first time. I went for the celebration and then I think I uh, added a few days on as well and I got the three park pass. So I came to Volcano Bay for the very first time for just a day. I went on the water coaster and I think both of the uh, rivers, there's the rapid and the lazy and got in the pool. I have to say at the time, I just kind of like, I did those things and then I left. It, the water was nice, so it was obviously heated, but it was a little too chilly outside. And to tell you the truth, I didn't really like pay attention to many of the details here. Obviously there weren't that many people here in January, though there were a few. Um, I, a lot of people have said that the trees and all the plants have actually grown in, like they planted them, you know, when the parks first opened. And the, a lot of people say like, the park looks a lot nicer now that everything's grown in and it's matured so I actually don't remember the difference from when I was here that would have been January 2018 and the park would have only been open for like half a year at that point um so yeah this would be year three for Volcano Bay there's a lot of anniversaries right now at Universal uh the park and a lot of the uh, movies that the rides are based on all have big anniversary years this year so yeah, I really just had to come back and enjoy it. But this is wonderful. This is like, considering everything's going on, this is like my tropical vacation. Like it's honestly next best thing to like getting on a plane and like flying to an island. Probably a lot less stress and hassle to be perfectly honest. So I'm just so comfortable. I've got my lounger. I've got my nice uh, Tommy Bahama beach towel. Um, they don't provide towels here. So you either have to rent them or buy one from the shop. 
I actually did buy a Volcano beach towel the other day, mostly just as a memento. Um, it's really pretty. It's got the, the tiki's on it, but I prefer my Tommy Bahama. It's a lot softer and it's larger. And I think I'm pretty close to the Hawaiian music. I can hear it really well. I got my new uh, tropical themed bikini on. I'm just really enjoying myself. Um, you know, I love Harry Potter and all the rides, but this is just so nice. I mean, the number one thing I came here to do was relax. And I feel like just being outside in the sunshine and the air and like getting some like exercise has been good. I've been shut inside and um, like I normally have some back problems and like I swear like a lot of the, the thrill rides here, they kind of like force you to like sit up really straight because they lock you in pretty tight. Um, so I feel like it's been like good for my back. Unintended little side effect. Um, and I've done a lot of swimming. And of course there's lots of walking when you go to the parks and stairs. Like I, I've been doing the Hogwarts Express like at least two times every day and uh, there's plenty of stairs <laughs> to go both to and from. Did get a little burned unfortunately, but oh. it's okay. I usually, my burns usually turn into tan, so I think I'll be all right. I honestly don't want to leave, but I know I have to. And when I get back, I'll have to do a two-week uh, self-quarantine. Especially because I've been in such a um, high-rate area, which unfortunately Florida is right now. Yeah, where I live, where I work, uh, our numbers have been at least much, much lower for a living in like a good sized city, our numbers have actually been quite low. <sighs> One more day, which reminds me, I have to book my uh, transportation. I got the Universal Airport shuttle, so it's not like automatically tied with your hotel the way Disney's is, so I have to call them up and make that reservation. So I'm going to do that now. Okay. If you're not able to go on vacation, I hope maybe you can enjoy a little bit of mine. <laughs>